and that should not be an issue. Let's do some speed. Hello, hello, my friends. This is for planes, and welcome back on my channel. If you like for KSP stuff, um, today I want to make a plane building tutorial uh, again, mainly because one of the YouTubers I watched started he KSP recently, and he has quite the problem building planes. So we make him. A new world, it's career mode, and what I will do is that I will. You want to, yeah, I want to use this. Um, that I will head into the config file of the save and I will give myself a bit of money in science so I can build aircraft and stuff, <laughs> and then we, sh we shall get going. So I'll see you guys in the space plane hangar. Laters. No, I shall not tell you how I did that, but we're gonna need um, basic engineering. Gonna need that stuff. And we're gonna need um, some stability. I gave myself a hundred science. Um, where's the landing gear? Is that here? Okay, that's 45. Aviation. And I have 27 remaining, which is not enough for stuff like that. So... Gonna have to build something simple, I guess. Let's go for survivability. And we spent our 100 science that we managed to gather. gather. Alright. Should've probably given myself another 100. So I could spend it on aerodynamics, but Biffa isn't really much farther in this. Um, he doesn't have the aerodynamics currently unlocked. He has this. This here. Basic engineering. Let's see if we even have enough parts to build a plane. Oh no, he... yeah. That should be enough. Alright. So. Probably put a timestamp in the video at the beginning, um, where you can skip forward to the actual plane building part. So we shall now start building planes. Thanks, got it. And we have the Mark One cockpit, which is by no means a bad cockpit. You should never underestimate that. Fuel-wise, well, piss poor. We don't even need that much fuel. Um, since this is a career mode thing. We may as well put on some science equipment. Oh, some of the, the science things changed size, I guess. Let's include two of these things. Like a so. That looks good enough. So yeah, um, next thing we're gonna need. Let's see. It's another fuel tank. Cause I'm gonna build this plane symmetrically. And we're gonna need an engine. And the wheelsy basic jet should be good enough for that. And immediately we run, in we run into the very first problem. Which is our center of mass. Let's see if that fixes its. Yeah, it fixes it, it somewhat. We can unallocate the monopropellant from this here. So, yeah. Some of the most important things to remember is your center of mass and your center of lift. And since I don't have any wings, center of lift is not existent. But the center of mass is basically. If you are aware how kinematic and kinetic works, like the physics, how they are calculated. This is basically the point where all forces act upon. Sorry, no. This is the point 
like here where the gravitational force of the entire craft acts on or it is the center of mass so if you act a force exactly in the center of mass it will create a pure tran oops it will create a pure a pure translation if you act forces n not on it but at it but it's at its sides or something it will create translation oops and rotation at the same time and we will use this effect to our liking right we shall place a few wings on this aircraft as you see the center of mass is quite far behind or center of lift because of the wing type that we've chosen so this is no good could of course design something experimental but I think I know what I'm going to go for um, experimental canard designs are so weird sometimes and I guess I can't be helped I can't really do it any way different some roll control on this beast and let's see if we can't stick in something else in order to make this thing behave better let's stick in another science bay <laughs> which means we need another science bay here all right now that makes us able to build a much more an aircraft which is much more to our what we prefer in terms of shape I would say because that is how we know an aircraft should be shaped like kinda like that alright so this is how if you look at your aircraft your center of mass and center of lift should look like it should be slightly behind or at the center of mass this indicator that means that the lift forces collective acts right here and since well it acts behind the center of mass if you apply lift then the aircraft will naturally have the tendency to in normal flight pitch down or in other words it will always when it is out of flight like this if you are in a very bad flight you could say attitude if you fly can if you translate to the air like this it will always write itself into the airstream kind of like a lawn dart but m not as extremely stable and same thing we're gonna go for at the tail fin all right um, that means we basically have built an airplane now the way this is built well that brings us to the next important case which is after you figured out how to where to place your center of lift and your center of mass next thing you're gonna want to do is to place your landing gear and we only have these two types of landing gear at the moment which is a slight problem but something that can be dealt with so we'll place the forward wheel here and place that thing here and that is too low of course it is why wouldn't it uh, that will make us unable to lift off the runway all right that requires some sh some fancy schmancy wing shenanigans Come on, 
Go down your wings. Mm, that looks about okay-ish. Go down a bit more. Now we'll bring the wings in a tad, like so. And that should be fine. Um, yeah, that should work much better. Um, gonna have to build the gear a bit strange this way. That should be a good gear placement. So yeah. Um, it's it looks a bit wee bit strange because I have limits to work with on on the landing gear department. Same goes for these things here as well. Put them up slightly which will make this thing here look slightly like a World War II propeller plane. The only difference is that, well, it's, it's driven by a turbine engine. Who cares? It's gonna need some intakes. So I might as well place them right here. And by all means our plane is complete now. It does steer. So. So we ca shall call this to Tor... Yeah. So this is basically how you're gonna have to build a plane. And... Come on, rotate the way you're supposed to rotate. Thank you. Also rotated slightly bit too much. That looks more fine. All right. Um, now to the most important thing, which is very often overlooked. You have this option to use these things for different things. Now I like to allocate my different control surfaces to just one thing. So the elevators do elevators stuff. The the roll the ailerons do aileron stuff, and the tail fin does tail fin stuff. And that is basically what you're gonna need to do. Now this thing costs you thirteen thousand. You can I th you can to all my knowledge. Add more tanks if you so desire. It doesn't. It does kind of mess up the plane itself, but that can be easily fixed. Um, it messed up our landing gear position. I'm not even sure if this thing will even lift off, being that it is so low down to the ground. Um, hmm. Oh well. But yeah. Center of mass and center of lift seem to be at the right places. And the center of mass at the fuel tanks is something that keeps your plane stable in flight. So I recommend you do it. Because when the fuel drains Usually, I can demonstrate it here, it shifts a, a bit, but if I had the fuel tanks there, it would shift drastically backwards. So, that keeps you from having all hell break loose when you're low on fuel. So, I guess we should go and we should test this thing. And uh, yeah. The fact of the matter how I built it makes it somewhat unstable. 
it does lift off quite nicely. Let's hope that since the wings are so far forward, the entire construction holds and doesn't wobble about too much. I've had that happen. <laughs> um, joystick doesn't work at the moment because this is a fresh install. And let's get this thing going. The runway is us. Prove me wrong, but this runway is somewhat hazardous. Hmm. 34 meters a second. Let's see if we can't get this thing off the runway. And it flies! I need to trim it a bit, but... It technically does fly. Come on. Alright. So trimming it a bit out. It's going to a stable flying attitude. I of course am not going full throttle because that would be stupid of me. Alright. Yeah. You make all sorts of crazy stuff things with this. Now we're a bit faster. I can tune down the amount of trim we put in. And this thing really does fly quite nicely, as you can see. You can make this thing turn quite sharp. And this is what basically makes up a good airplane, aside from the fact that you obviously need to be able to land it. But... If you haven't done goofed up, you sh I should say, then that should not be an issue. Let's do some speed. <sighs> I need to get used to non to the physics of this game again. I've used a f mod that changes the physics to be more realistic, but yeah. Um, of course you can also Oh yeah, I talked about landing gear placement. Placing the landing here, gear here, works as well as placing the landing gears around here. Albeit that if you do place them on the sides here, you might as well, you might have to do a bit of fancy schmancy stuff in order to get your gear to behave like you I would say wish it to oh come on sometimes this game is so stupid alright that's what I wanted to do like I said, sometimes it takes a while. Um, yeah, that's placed roughly at the correct spot. Well, you're usually best off placing the gears slightly behind the center of mass. So, like that. So that you can fly your plane in a good manner. That will also enable us now to place these things differently again alright so yeah this is a how you build an aircraft in Kerbal Space Program. It is not witchcraft. You do have to kind of think about what you do, and most on real life aircraft are shaped in their way because, well, that is what is efficient and safe. You know? 
Da. Oh my god, I almost feel like a stupid saying that. <laughs> so yeah. I guess enjoy flying your aircraft now that you know how to build them. You new Kerber Space Program people. Those who haven't built aircraft before. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye.